idea of salt and smoke for a dinner party came from sort of that imagery of like the beach in the fall. You know, it's no longer hot, it's not sticky, it's cold, there's crispness to the air. And I love the smell of chimneys getting lit. That's how you, for me, that's how I can tell it's fall. The air feels a little bit wet and the chimneys are basically lighting up so it's sort of smoky in the air. So I don't know, just sort of to me, salt and smoke sort of evoke that idea of fall. The menu inspired by the theme of salt and smoke is pretty simple. I'm doing a starter, which is a sort of fennel oyster. It's basically raw fennel that I've chilled, so it's super duper cold, really has this like great bite to it. And I'm topping that with lemon scented olive oil, a little bit of smoked sea salt. And then there's sort of like a cheese plate slash salad, which is, I uh, has a, a diazabal cheese, which is a smoked sheep's milk cheese, speck, which is smoked prosciutto, and then fresh pear, arugula, really lovely and balanced, lots of great fall flavors. The fish is the main course, and so that's a salt crusted roasted branzino, and that has a smoky orange salsa, which I'm very excited about. And then for dessert, we're doing a salted caramel budino. And I just did it family style, so it's really beautiful, all in like one giant thing. And that has salted caramel in it, and I'm gonna top that with vanilla sea salt. Oh, and of course, I can't forget the cocktails. So the cocktail is probably the thing I'm the most excited about. It is essentially a Manhattan, but then the cool thing, I saw this done at one of my favorite bars in New York. Um, I'm going to smoke and smolder the cinnamon sticks, some clove, and some orange peel. And then the glass is actually gonna collect that smoke. So when I'm ready to make the drink, I'm gonna pour the drink into the glass and it's gonna just have this really just evocative, gorgeous, like Pepe Le Pew hand style smoke. So I'm very excited about that. I'm nervous about making it for six girls. I hope that I can get it all happening at the same time, but I think it'll be really good. I am so excited about putting together the table. It's gonna be beautiful. I love anthropology. I mean, they have a really wonderful kind of eclecticism to what they do. So everything can kind of be mixed and matched. It doesn't have to be, you know, going together perfectly. Because the theme is salt and smoke, I didn't want the vibe to be sort of typical autumnal butternut squash type um, color palette. I wanted it to be cold and really sexy and cool. So I went with all of their sort of chambray color palette. So I got these beautiful uh, napkins, and that kind of was my jumping off point. These napkins that are chambray with uh, white paint strokes. And then all of the plates have that same sort of very um, cold blue, white, off-white, and then a little bit of gold, because I love gold. Gold everything. Um, I love the fact that I'm using gold flatware. I think it's really beautiful. And it adds a little bit of warmth, because I didn't want it to be super cold, but it just keeps it, um, it also keeps it very current looking. And then, I think a really fun, surprising pop amongst all of those cool blue tones is the pink glassware. It's beautiful. I'm obsessed with depression glassware. And so once the pink glassware made it in there, I decided too that the flowers should also be kind of cool pink tones. So I don't know, I'm really excited about it. It's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna come together really well and I can't wait to see what the girls think of it. To me, a dinner party should be a relaxed space. It should be a space where as the host, you actually get to be a participant. You actually get to hang out with your friends. So I love dishes like these where it's just easy. You can whip it up, it's not a big deal. You can hang out and drink a glass of wine. You can really take in the evening because at the end of the day, that's why you host parties. That's why you have people over is so you can connect.